Morning, everybody. There's a lot of deception going on around this 5G. A lot of cover-up by councils. I put a post up the other day about a number of 5G transmitters on lights. They don't like that because it affects everybody. It's on all the street lighting. All right. Somebody at MI5 left the back door wide open. I'm going to explain it to everybody and why. Right. This is a potential ransom of the country on the back of this weaponry. Because that's what 5G actually is. All right. Increases the temperature. We're now starting to see a lot of councils, a lot of councillors, a lot of people in the in the councils being threatened, bullied and intimidated not to talk about it. So let's just do another breakdown. I mean, obviously, everybody's seen this piece of hardware from Harvard Technology. Right. This is Harvard. This is their, this is their hardware. All right. This is Harvard's technology hardware. And we've had this. You see the... The meat and potatoes piece here, very heavy piece of equipment here, and obviously this is then attached to this piece of equipment. This is a blatant weapon system. All right, it is not. It is not for switching the lights on and off. Anybody that says that, it's deception. It is dishonest. It is actually an offence. All right, this is the equipment that was fitted in Gateshead. This is 5G. It's a scanner. All right. You see the scanner? That thing on the end, it's got a dielectric lens. Basically, a very, very sophisticated piece of target acquiring weaponry. All right. I know people have found that unbelievable. But what I'm going to explain to people, that there is a 450 volt, 450 volt capacitor. All right. It is totally unnecessary on a piece of equipment like this. Look at all the chipsets, look at all the hardware, look at all the equipment, not as we're being tooled for switching lights on and off. That is a fabrication and a lie, all right? These are not light sensors, none of them are light sensors. This is a light sensor. I want people to pay attention to this plug and play piece of equipment because this is a light sensor, you can see it. There's the light sensors in there, totally innocuous, and that has a 10 volt capacitor. See those little capacitors? 10 volts, that's all they are. All right. The capacitors on the 5G, 450 volts. I'm going to explain to people the difference. Here's a piece of equipment I had sent the other day, a company called Telenza. See the plug and play? Because it can easily be changed. So this one, they can swap it out with this one in a heartbeat. So that's the light sensor. And that can be replaced pretty quickly with this piece of equipment. All right. Let me just show you what's in here. This is the bottom end, which we're going to take off. This is to look inside. All right. And that thing there is a nice bit of hardware. All right, you see it? Well, not nice. It's nice if you're going to try and pull a weapon system on somebody. Those capacitors, 450 volts. Let's just throw it out. This is a dipole antenna, so it radiates in all directions. Pretty sophisticated. Look at the hardware. Look at the chipsets. This is not, I'm going to let you have another look at this light sensor to show you these are not light sensors. All right. That thing there on the bottom, 3,300 watts. That will cook you alive. All right, 3,300 watts, very powerful piece of equipment. Right, that's been swapped out for this. All right, so the sometimes the masquerade is, they fit these, and then they come along late at night. This is a light sensor. Come along late at night, plug and play, and they change it for this basically piece of weaponry. All right. Now, that's not the most dangerous because this isn't a target acquiring piece of weaponry. All right. This is for something else. This bit is target acquiring. All right. That sensor on the end, this scanner, it's the bit they're doing like people to look at. That's got a dielectric lens at the end. All right. 
very, very dangerous piece of equipment. Now, what's happened, we've actually had sent to us another piece of equipment, right, where they've actually removed, they've actually removed the interesting bit. So this is the same company, but look, I'm going to show you. See, they've removed the nasty bit, because obviously a bit obvious that, to anybody that knows about dielectric lenses and weaponry, so you can see how that's been uh, cut away. They've actually removed this. This has been ground away, right? But this is an illegal scanner. So you can scan it at home. Look at the hardware. Once again, 450 volt capacitor, right? Where it can actually be used. Look at the chip. Look at the equipment inside and outside. Not a light sensor. This is 5G, by the way. And this is the same company, Harvard Technology. That's the company there. All right, they have went into administration. Your local authorities are telling you it's a bona fide company, Queen's Queen's uh, Award for Industry. Basically, it's went bankrupt. And the reason it's went bankrupt is because somebody's covering up the crime that they've tried to commit on the people. Right? I had one of these sent to me the other day. This one's had a bit of hammer rash, unfortunately. It's had a bit of hammer rash. All right, some of the bits have uh, basically fell off it. There's the other, the plug bit at the bottom. Obviously, it has had a serious bit of hammer rash, consequently. But that is the plug and play system. All right. And that is also a scanning lens. You see it, aluminium thing at the end? It's a dielectric lens. It can focus the signal. And once again, 450 volt capacitor. Not the 10 volt capacitor in a light sensor. All right. It's a light sensor, 10 volts. To put that into perspective, your mobile phone operates on three and a half, three and a half volts. So what I'm going to say to people, this is all weaponry. All right. These are weapon systems. Absolutely. This is all weapons hardware, right, which has been rolled out on top of you. All right. These is in your street lights. Care of your local authority. Care of an outrageous organization what i want to find out is who at gchq is actually paying and sanctioning the trolls because unfortunately the spy agencies need to get a grip of this because the back doors are open and i believe this is the the route going into where we are going to be uh, ransomed the country or attacked at will by a foreign power because they can use this equipment to attack you i know it sounds absolutely unbelievable but that is a matter of fact and the reason why we're now getting trolled by a number of state actors, all right, one of the things that I'm going to tell people, if you write to your local MP or any local authority and they mention ICNIRP, ICNIRP guidelines only rely on a five, six minutes, a six minute exposure. These are on 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, all right, outside your home, making people sick on, on top of the light systems. They come in a number of different styles, number of different types. So if you see anything with anything like this, anything over four inches in height, it's got an 868 antenna underneath. It's got this antenna underneath. This one's absolutely blatant, by the way. That's why they're changing this. They've changed this specifically because anybody, anybody knows that this is a scanner. It's a target acquiring scanner antenna. This is the scanning bit. And this is the shooty bit at the end. All right. That allows you to fire a dielectric. That's a dielectric lens and allows you to fire a collimated signal at a person supposed to be an autonomous car. However, that's not what it's for. Look at, just look at some of the other hardware. This is the hardware that's attached to it. Anybody tells me this is for switching lights on and off, wake up. Right. This is the intent to harm the citizen. This is equipment to harm you, right, attached to a streetlight outside your home. And this is the reason why a number of people are starting to get sick in the near localities of these transmitters where they're getting skin problems, breathing problems, because this radiation actually increases the temperature. Now, we know the temperature has gone up. I'm not surprised. We've got 31,875 of these in Gateshead alone. They are covering up the fact that this is 5G. We know it's 5G. 
apart from the only people that don't think it's 5G, I mean, they know it is, they're just covering up the crime, all right? This is 5G. However, it's had the the really outrageous uh, antenna removed. You can see that it's been taken away specifically, it's been ground away, right, so that the evidence is actually being taken away, all right? But what I'm going to say to people, right, Who's sanctioning the trolls at GCHQ to shut down the 5G, the 5G information? We as this country are trying to defend ourselves from this crime. We've actually had the Extinction Rebellion set up specifically to try and push this technology. They're trying to force this technology on people. The LED streetlights, which are illegal which they are also are extremely toxic. They're promoting this technology, including the smart rollout. It's all integrated, all right? So your smart meter, it's got the capacity to kill. These ha also have the capacity to kill, right? Now, people are frightened. A lot of people are getting very frightened. And the reason why is because they're starting to realise that the authorities are out of control. Well, I'm going to tell you, they are out of control, because they are allowing this technology to be rolled out on top of you. I mean, like I said, this one's had a bit of hammer rash. So this is also a 5G. It's a 5G cover on this dielectric lens here. Also very dangerous. 450 volt capacitors. No necessity for that. The three and a half volts in your mobile phone. Everybody knows that. And like this one, only 10 volts. All right. So this is explosive. Share it. Get it out there because what will happen, they'll pull my Facebook uh, accounts down, right, once I get this information out. This is what's causing the increase in temperature in the near locality to you because it hits your body and makes you feel hot. It's burning people's skin. We've got people who've got skin complaints, breathing complaints, headaches, sore eyes, all the things that are attributed to this mass pollution from this microwave radiation and the ICNIRP guidelines as I said only apply to six minutes these are on 24 hours a day seven days a week we've got local councils and local council officials telling people they're not on they're not on or they're not well how do you scan into somebody's home in 3d map that home because that's what this equipment does illegally if it's not on you lot must think we are absolutely thick as a brick. And the only people that support them with our fake narrative are very, very either easily deceived or they're working for the state apparatus. That's enough for today, all right? But anybody in local authorities who are being bullied, intimidated for getting this out, go to your unions, get organised, because listen, this will kill your kids. We've got mass amounts of people and children in particular getting cancers. The LED streetlights are illegal. They're an experimental test. They are absolutely lethal. In fact, they're a category 2 optical radiation emitter. You must wear protective eyewear. Must wear protective eyewear when they are on. No one's warned you. Your local councils know. I even have heard of a number of the lighting people now getting cancers where they have been exposed to this for only a very, very short period of time. Well, that might be what we'll call uh, karma, because they know any electrician will tell you there is no need, right, to have 3,300 watt capacity on something that's just supposed to switch the lights on and off. And if anybody tells me that that is anything like that, I can tell you, they're deceiving you at best and they're acting in a criminal enterprise and a cover-up to actually harm with intent to harm the citizen.